So I want to talk about something that's on a lot of people's minds. Here, I have black paint right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make red letters, okay? So if you look at these boxes, I'm gonna make red letters with black paint. If you look into the boxes, you'll see that. This is on a lot of people's minds right now. It's called COVID. Who here has heard about COVID? Everybody put their hand up. That's right. That's all anyone talks about this COVID-19. It's horrible. And one of the reasons why it's horrible is because it leads to this. To death. And nobody likes death. And what's interesting about that is that we all experience it. Everybody. That's one thing that, that makes us all the same. People have been talking about racism, especially this week with the horrible thing that happened. Unspeakable. But whether we're black or white or somewhere in between, if we're tall or short or rich or poor, we all experience death. 155,000 people die every day. And if you are experiencing COVID, you might think, no, I'm not going to get that. But hopefully a good doctor will give you evidence that you have COVID, if you have it. Some of the evidence might be you might have You see that? You might have a cough. Maybe <clears throat> you might have a cough. But that's, oh, maybe you have COVID. Another uh, symptom to prove that you have this awful disease is you might have a, you might have a fever. Now, if you're feeling real hot right now, it might just be because it's a really warm day. So don't don't get freaked out. You might. Oh, one of I don't like this at all. Anybody see what that says? You might vomit. I hate that. Ugh. I have four children. I know a lot about vomiting. Um, and these are, are these tell you that you might have this awful disease called COVID, which leads to death. Now, we're hoping that we'll be able to come up with something to help fight COVID. Okay, maybe they're working on some of the smartest people in the world. All different countries are working on maybe a pill that you could take to maybe help uh, lessen the symptoms. Maybe they're looking for a vaccine, you know, like a shot that you could take so that you don't get it. We're, and we're hoping these things do come out. But do you guys know what the percentage is of people who catch COVID that die? So if any of the, all the people that catch COVID, how many, what percentage of them actually die? I will put the number up. This is a little. That's supposed to be a percent sign. What percent are cured? Does anybody know what percentage are cured from COVID who catch it? Anybody want to guess? Well, I have bad news for you. And I hate to bring bad news, but I promise I'll have good news in a moment. Zero percent of the people are cured. Because here's the thing. Ten out of ten people die. So if you catch COVID, you will die. Maybe not a COVID, but within the next 80, look, a hundred years from now, everybody on the planet will be dead. Whether we die of COVID or we die of pneumonia or an aneurysm or a heart attack, we're getting hit by a car or who knows what. Everybody dies. So I want to ask you this. This disease is bad, but I have a question. I'll put a question mark in this box. This is a really important question. Which is... I'm forgetting how to spell. How about that? You know why I forget how to spell? Because I went to school in Massachusetts, that's why I forget how to spell. So I'm kind of dopey. So I'm going to ask you, which is worse? This disease, COVID, and you know you have COVID because you have a cough, fever, vomit that leads to death. And 0% of the people are cured if you take a medicine or, or a vaccine. But there's another disease that they don't talk about on the radio. They don't talk about on the news. No podcasts are covering it. And I can't understand why. Because this is a disease that's way worse than COVID. As bad as COVID is, 
There's a worse disease. It ends in an I-N because it's inside all of us. Everybody has this disease. S, because with an S, I-N, stands for stinky, inner, nastiness, sin. We all have it. The center of sin is I. Because if you want to see sin illustrated, just say, I want things my way. I don't want to follow the rules. I don't want to do what you want me to do. I don't want you to be the boss of me. I want what I want. And we all have it. And you might, might be saying, well, maybe I don't have sin. How about that? <laughs> you might be saying, hey, um, would you, young man, you're strong. Would you come back and just sort of hold my board on the back? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. What nice people. Just stand behind and stick your hand on that. There you go. How about a round of, what's your name? How about a round of applause for Garrett here? He's going to, good job, Garrett. All right. Um, and you might be saying, well, I don't have sin. And well, I will give you some symptoms to show you. Just like COVID has symptoms, sin has symptoms. God says you shall not lie. Have you ever told a lie even once? Do you realize that God is the embodiment of truth and we are made in his image? So when we lie, we tell a lie, oh, I got away with it. I told my boss I was sick when I wasn't. I told my wife I was helping an old lady cross the street when I was really hanging out with the guys or maybe hanging out with another woman. And, you know, we think it's funny to lie, but we are made in God's image. We're supposed to, we're supposed to show the world what he's like. And when we lie, it besmirches who God is, his very nature. It's very serious. It's not, it's not fun to lie. Have you ever told a lie? You tell one lie that makes you a liar. And you, you blaspheme God. Have you ever stolen anything? You don't have to steal the Mona Lisa to be a thief. All you have to do is, is, is take time at work when you're being paid by the hour. And you goof off and you steal. Or download something from the internet that you didn't pay for. That makes you st Look, my wife has stolen. She's a thief. She stole my heart. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, how about this? Another evidence that we're suffering from the disease of sin. Whoa. Garrett, thank you for doing that job that you're doing. It is windy out here. How about hate? We've seen a lot of hate this week, haven't we? Hate. If you hate somebody, you, you, you hate somebody that's made in God's image. Because not only have you been met, made in God's image, and you, and you, and you, and you, and all of you. But everybody has. So when we hate somebody, we're hating someone made in God's image. Jesus said that if you hate somebody, it's, it's like murdering them in your heart. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. And none of us have done that. And that's why sin... leads to death. In fact, the Bible says the wages, wages is what we earn. Wages is what's coming to us. The wages of sin is death. So if you, if you sin, even once, you have death. When the Bible talks about this kind of death, it means death eternally in the lake of fire. I don't want that for you. And you don't want that for you. And here's the good news. See, COVID, maybe one day they'll come out with a pill. Maybe one day they'll come out with a vaccine. It might extend your life a little bit, but you'll still die eventually. You know, if you're 20 years old today and catch COVID and they cure you, you're still going to die 60 years later. So all they're doing is, is pushing out the inevitable. Here's the thing. Jesus did something so that if you have the disease of sin, and we all do, if you get Jesus' cure, then 100% of the people who follow Jesus' way will be cured. 100%. That's great news. So you should be saying, Mark, tell me what it is. What is Jesus' cure? Does he, have a, uh, does he have a pill for me to take? Does he have a vaccine for me to take? No. Here's this. Our sin needs to be paid for. Just like if we, if, we, if, we, uh, if we break the law of, of Manchester, New Hampshire, we get a fine. Or if we break the law of, of, of uh, I don't know what county this is, Rockingham County, I don't know where we are. But if you break a county, then you get a bigger fine. If you break a state law, you get a bigger fine. If you break a law of the state of New Hampshire, if you break the federal law, boy, that's a bigger fine. Well, what if you break the law of God? Then you have an eternal fine. And Jesus paid it. Jesus was perfect never sinned once and yet he came down to earth and they put him on a cross now they only nailed people to crosses who were really really bad 
Was Jesus really, really bad? No, he never sinned once. Never. And yet they put nails in his hands, nails in his feet, and the perfect son of God who never sinned once, he shed his blood for us. I'm kind of a nerd, so I, I bought these replica nails. They're flat, they're not round. Round nails are kind of a new invention. These hurt. They have two heads on them because the Romans, when they were done nailing people to a cross, if it has two heads, they could pull it out real easy. They striped his body with this device. It's called a cat of nine tails. So a small leather whip with uh, uh, metal at the end and, and spikes, and, and it would shred your skin right off your body. But that's not the worst part that Jesus endured. You know, big deal. Lots of people took this. I, I wouldn't want to. But that's not what Jesus. The, the big thing is that see all the sin that everybody ever committed. For all of the people who would come to God, it's like, it's almost as if every sin, like, God's wrath was put in a bucket, and there's more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more. All things that I've done, things that you've done, your children, your parents, everybody, your rabbi, your priest, your imam, everybody, into a bucket. And when Jesus Christ was on the cross, it wasn't the nails, and it wasn't the cat and nine tails, and it wasn't the torture, it was that God took that bucket of his wrath and poured it on the Son of God. And he did it for you and me. Because the Bible says Christ suffered for sin. The just, that's him. For the unjust, that's us. To bring us to God. This is the most important thing there is. If you want 100% cure from sin, you come to Jesus. He's the only way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. And it's really easy. It's so easy that even someone that went to school in Massachusetts can understand this. As dopey as me. I, even I, If I can understand this, you can too. What letter of the alphabet does a cross look like? Looks like a T, right? So whenever you see a T for the rest of your life, I want you to remember this. Two Ts. They're easy to understand and they're hard to do. They're hard to do because they go against our pride. Our pride says, I don't want to do things God's way. I want to do things my way. The first T is turn turn away from our sin and turn to Jesus. See, tragically, most people turn away from Jesus and turn towards their sin. They love their sin. Sin is fun. Sin is fun for a moment, but it's not worth it. Instead, turn away from your sin and turn to Jesus. See, Jesus is a prize so much greater than anything this earth can, can, can offer. Jesus is so much greater. And the other T is a word called trust. And we all trust in something. Most of us trust in ourselves. I think I'm good enough to get to heaven. Oh, sure, I'll get to heaven because I'm a good guy. The Bible says none of us are good. No, not one. And we need to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn and trust. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Because, oh yeah, thousands of people would, got killed on Roman crosses, but only one did this. When they put him in a tomb, they put a big rock over the tomb. And they even guarded it for three days. And on the third day, the tomb was empty, and Christ rose from the dead. And I don't know a lot of things, but I know this. If a man is dead and buried for three days, and he rises from the dead, you obey him. Obey what he says. And Jesus commands all men everywhere to repent and believe. Turn and trust. Do you know the phone company wants you to believe this? The phone company wants you to come to Jesus. They do, and I'll prove it to you. All over America, by the side of the roads, at great expense, they put up gigantic wooden tees. There's one right there. See that big wooden tee the phone company put up? Wasn't that nice of them to do that? And they put and they put tons of them all over the road. And they put they put cables in between them to hold them up. And if one falls over, they send a crew immediately to put it back up again. So whenever you see that tee for the rest of your life, turn trust. If you do that, you become born again. You become a new creation. You become part of God's family. That's better than a than a, a cure to COVID. That's better than a billion dollars. That's better than anything. Because what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his soul? Guys, your soul is worth it. I want to give something to you. It doesn't matter what number you are. You can come forward. I have copies of the Gospel of John. This is a book of the Bible. It is the Bible truth. I got a bunch of them. I want to give them away to anybody who wants one. Because this is how you get to know Jesus. is by reading his word. You can believe it. You can really believe God's word. I got a bunch of them. If you want one, don't be shy. Come on up and take it. I'll give it to you. You can come up right now. Uh, or in the next few, come on up and, uh, and take one of these. I'll be happy to get you. you. want one? Yeah. 
There you go. That's my gift to you. God bless you. There you go. Yes, absolutely. Anybody else want one? You come and get it. Don't feel shy about that. Thank you for listening to me. I hope this food that these wonderful amazing people have provided is a blessing to you. Um, and I hope that this message was a blessing to you too. Which is worse, sin or COVID? It's, it's an easy question. Sin is much worse. And for all that this world is talking about COVID-19, they should really be talking about sin a whole lot more. And the great news is that Jesus took those nails and he did it out of love. Love. You want to know what real love is? For God so loved the world, that's you and me, we're the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever, doesn't matter, again, you can be black, white, rich, poor, doesn't, look, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. I grew up in a home that believed a different religion. When I was 20, I started studying this stuff in order to try to disprove it. And I became a believer. Jesus won me over. I pray that he'll win you over too. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Guys, I hope you're blessed. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, God bless you. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. This is Mark. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to the channel. Please visit our website, loop-15.org. We have tons of free resources. Everything's free to help you to become a better, more effective ambassador for Jesus Christ. There's also information at loop-15.org about what my family and I do as missionaries here in New England and really everywhere through the internet. Please share these resources with other people you know through social media. And may God bless you as you take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the lost. We love Jesus. How can we not share him with others? Have a great day.